Okay, this is a quick little video on a Harley starter solenoid. Um, it's a real good little trick, actually. I took the, the cap off of it. So both of this stud and that stud were double nutted, right? And the battery goes on the longer one here. And this is your starter solenoid wire that triggers the solenoid. And this is the output. And the way this thing works is really simple. I had no idea, but it basically um, in here on the bike, and let's get a quick little picture of that part. That's right there on the shovels. This is the little plunger. So it pulls that plunger in, and maybe we ought to get a little better look at it. It pulls this plunger in and causes the starter gear to come out. You can see it's coming out there. We're not really... Um, that great of a video for that, but this needs to be start uh, needs to be turning to engage into the flywheel teeth. Your uh, and th this has a one way clutch. In case most people didn't know, it locks one way, spins the other way. That way, when your bike starts, it doesn't overspin your starter. This freewheels. So I had to replace that fork. I suggest if you're in on that, anytime you're in here, you should definitely replace the starter gear. And this fork, there's two tabs that are on it that ride into, um, you can't really see it, but I guess you can kind of see it. Those two metal tabs were severely worn. So I replaced this fork. It was all very cheap stuff. So the solenoid pulls this in, causes the Bendix gear to kick out. Starter gear, whatever they call it on this. Anyway, back to, over to here. I took the double nuts off these two studs and the trigger was also double nutted so I took those off and then this cover just simply really comes off and there's a gasket in there anyway you can see that one spots really worn so I'm going to turn that 180 degrees and then lock it back in like that when I put it back together so it'll be riding on that new surface and what happens is this washer when that plunger comes in it hits the stud when it bottoms out and it causes this stud to actually move up this is in here like this and then when this comes in, it causes this to push up just a little and contact both these studs, causing the battery, the battery, I'm sorry, the battery, to go, the, the current and voltage to go through this washer over to this stud and to your starter motor. That's how these work. That's why if you ever touch this solenoid, if you cause that thing to pull in with your finger and your fingers are in that primary where that starter gear is, it'll, it's going to crank if the battery's connected. So the other thing I noticed is this washer was heavily worn. Um, a lot of copper shown and a lot of dirt on it. So I just took and I flipped it over. And to flip it over, this spring just pops off. And then there's that little keeper and then you just pull the washer down like that. And that keeper will come right off and you can, there's a, that's an insulator there. And then there's a plastic piece here so you don't, there's voltage area. You don't want to ground that out. And if it uh, touched the shaft for real, you would ground your battery straight, you know, positive to the ground. So that's why you have those insulators on there. I would say if they're cracked, you know, I don't know if you can get parts, but you're probably done. But anyway, that thing just comes up and connects those two and, uh, and off your starter goes. It's really simple. So putting it back together, I'm going to put black RTV because it had some orange like washers or something, uh, insulator washers, so water doesn't get into it, I guess, or oil. But um, yeah, I'm just going to use, and the gasket, it was kind of chewed up, so I'm going to use some black RTV around the base of this uh, stud, around the base of the other stud, around the base of this one, and um, around where the gasket used to be. So I hope you find this helpful. If you do, I guess... Uh, I never said this on the other videos, but hit the like and I guess subscribe. I'm not that big on YouTube, but um, I do subscribe to a few people. Anyway, thanks for watching.